Welcome back. Today is day three of area of quadrilaterals and triangles. And today we are going to be moving on to, you guessed it, triangles. So triangles have three sides. If you will recall from your earlier days and they have side lengths. So this is a side length, this is a side length, and this one has a side length. We don't have it on here, but it does have one. And this is a right triangle, just for our purposes here. And what we're going to find today is how do we find the area of this? Now on the square and the rectangle, we could draw those lines and then we could actually count the squares and see how many squares there were. Now you actually can kind of do that here because we could complete this rectangle, right? So this isn't actually part of the triangle, but we could see that this rectangle would have four times five, which would be 20. And if we drew all the lines, we could count the 20 squares. But as you can see, this is actually half of that rectangle. So it's gonna be half of 20, which would be 10. Now, how do I find this mathematically? Well, your area is going to equal the, still the, we're going to call this the base and we're going to call this the height. So this is going to be the base times the height, four times five. And do you know how to find half of something? Well, if you want to find half of a pie, you would divide it in half, right? You would cut it in half. You would make, two, make it into two. So we're going to divide by two. So four times five is 20. 20 divided by two is 10. So our area will equal 10. And remember that these are going to be units squared because we're talking about area. We're talking about these little square units that could fit in here. We're not talking about the length. This is one dimension. Area is two dimensions. Okay, so let's remind ourselves a little bit. Here's our formula for the area of a triangle. It's the base times the height divided by two. And you might see it like this. Area equals base times height divided by two. Sometimes it will say one half base times height, which is another way of writing it. I just like this because it make it's really easy to know, oh, I'm dividing by two instead of multiplying by one half. Dividing by two seems to um, be a little bit easier to remember and to do. Okay, so let's look at an example. So our height is 10, that's how high it is. And we're also gonna say this is a right triangle. And our base is eight. So we're gonna do area, equals base times height <clears throat> divided by two. You can do another step. You can probably do mental math with this. You could do eight times 10 equals 80, 80 divided by two is 40. But if, if you wanna write it down or your teacher wants you to write it down, you would do eight times 10 is 80 divided by two. So you would get the area is equal to 40, and this is centimeters squared. Okay, let's do one more example. Sometimes it won't be a right triangle. So we're not looking at one of the sides. We just, these dotted lines tell us that this is not a actual side of the triangle. It is just showing us the height and making this right triangle in the middle. So, we're gonna still do the base times the height. So we're gonna do 12 times five divided by two, which once again, you could do this in your head, right? You can do 12 times five equals 60, 60 divided by two is 30. So we're gonna do, but let's just write it out. Will it look like that? And then our final answer would be 30 inches, but it's not a length, so it's not going to be 30 inches. It's going to be 30 inches squared, 30 square inches. Okay, well, that is how you find 
the area of a triangle. Talk to you soon. Bye.